Good evening. Buenas noches. Well, we're here because we want to send a strong, a strong message to our community that we're not going to tolerate violence, that we're not going to tolerate gangs, and that we're not going to to tolerate shootings and firing your firing arms. So we're going to hear, we're here together to form a commitment from everyone. And let me tell you something. We could be out here every day, the police, myself, the mayor, unless we get involved, unless we get involved, we're never going to put a stop to it. We know more than every one of us together. So we have to come out and say, hey, and when you talk to us, it is confidential. If you have a problem, we'll talk to you. Confidentiality. But it is important that we, we get a strong message out there that we're not going to tolerate any more with disrespect to our community. And because the weather is, uh, is getting a little cloudy here, I'm going <laughs> to cut my speech a little bit. But please, let's make the commitment that we're going to work together to stop violence, along with the mayor, along with the police department, along with my office, along with every elected official here. We're going to make a commitment to stop the violence by getting involved and by providing information that sometimes you think that we might know, but we don't know. So before I bring my next guest, I just want to thank him for being here. I think there's no one here more committed to education, to public safety, to making an economic development base for our city strong, and to making sure that housing for everyone and for veterans is provided. And that is Mayor Remy Manuel. Mayor? Give your old man a hand for his great leadership. He's been a great partner in moving our city forward. I also want to say to all the parents here, and that is that you, with the schools, with our police department, have a central role in making sure our kids are safe. Central role in making sure our kids know right from wrong. The most important door a child walks through for their education, for their moral upbringing, and for their safety is the front door of the home. And I will say this, there is no gangbanger that's stronger than the moral fabric and the moral strength of this neighborhood and this community. Their strength only comes from intimidation. They will not be out tonight because these are our streets. These are the streets of the good citizens of the city of Chicago who are raising kids to know right from wrong. No, raising kids to understand the right choices in life. That's why this city also made a commitment to make sure that every child in every neighborhood throughout the city of Chicago last year and every year going forward has a universal full day of kindergarten. No more half kids getting half a day. It's wrong for the children, it's wrong for the parents. And I think what the alderman was also saying, for a community to be safe, it cannot live a life of a code of silence but li must live by a moral code. And I see that throughout this neighborhood and in this community. Every year I've been on this march because it is a once again to remind us these are our streets, the streets for our families, our children to play. And no child should have their childhood taken from them. And we must have the strength to stand up, speak out, be heard. These are the streets of the city of Chicago. They belong to the good citizens. A child should have the right with a family to be on the front porch and not be indoors because of fear. Do not allow that fear to take over. And as the alderman said, the weather is changing. So thank you for tonight. Let us march, but march every night forward, reclaiming of the streets for the citizens of the city of Chicago. All right, so we're going to march. We're going to get ready to march, so cut the program short. Let's go on and march. Go in the front over there. <laughs> 